This is referred to as a hinge choke due to its resemblance of a door hinge action. We will discuss three main versions, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. The horizontal hinge choke starts with both cymbals pressed together, positioned flat like a drum set hi-hat with the closest edge pressed against your body at the navel level. To play a note, simply lift the outer edge while keeping the inner edge tight together and against your body. Force the outer edges back together to produce a tight, crisp choke sound. For any of the different styles of hinge chokes, you can either move both cymbals or just the top cymbal. You just have to make sure the entire line is performing it the same way. Make sure you keep your elbows out away from your body, nice straight posture, and don't let the cymbals tilt forward or to the sides. Keep the edge closest to you pressed tight against you when you perform the choke and use a light touch. We usually teach the line to play with a 3 inch version and a 6 inch version and also to keep a light touch on the cymbals so they don't overplay this technique. vertical hinge choke relies on the same hinge movements but the cymbals are positioned straight up and down and in midline with the torso. The edge closest to the body will be pressed against your sternum. This technique sounds just as good as the other two versions but is not very comfortable. For the prep, the outer edges open a couple of inches and then you force the edges back together to produce your note. The diagonal hinge choke sits at a point directly between the horizontal and vertical hinge choke positions. This position is more comfortable and easier to use for long rehearsals, but in turn does not look as aggressive as the horizontal position. The cymbals will rest on the body slightly above navel area and will be at a 45 degree angle. For the prep, the outer edges open a couple of inches and then you force the edges back together to produce your note. <laughs> 